See, the man who admitted to setting his rented duplex ablaze could face several criminal charges, including arson and the mistreatment of animals. Now, while he hasn't been charged with any crimes yet, people who know him hope he will be forced to receive the help he needs. It was very unexpected. All his life, he was 100% with his dogs. Dennis Jakubowski is a relative of the man police say set fire to the upper level of this house on Klaus Street on Sunday in an apparent attempt to kill himself after police say he told them he had just killed all of his dogs. Thinking about him right now, I wonder what happened to him because normally he's a peaceful guy and he wasn't like this. Green Bay Alderman Guy Zima had the property for 36 years and was aware of only two of the man's dogs. While in the process of selling the property, he believes the new owner's actions might have triggered an unfortunate reaction by the tenant. The new landlord was trying to get insurance on the property and when the insurance company saw the Rottweiler dogs, they said they had to go. Zima thinks confronted with the idea he'd have to leave his home or get rid of his dogs pushed him to take drastic measures. Somehow he couldn't face life without his dogs, I guess, and so there's a tragic element to this. Police say the man was arrested without incident and is now undergoing mental evaluations. Upstairs at the home, they found the bodies of the eight dogs. Now Zima is hoping something good, if anything, can come from this. I hope he's somewhat taken care of because he's got a lot of needs. He's got a lot of health needs, physical and mental. The man is in police custody who say he's being cooperative. Zima says he will renegotiate with the new owners as to whether the property will be repaired or destroyed. In the Green Bay Newsroom, Holly Baker, NBC 26.